Hey guys, it's your girl Chrissy Gale here with another video. But before I head on into that, I want to give a shout out to New Link Production for the endorsement. And I want to thank all the persons that came over and subscribed or commented, liked my videos. Thank you for the love. And you know, I have to thank all my day one subscribers for the support. Now, in today's video, we'll be talking about hair will be doing the hair chat now i always get persons coming to me and asking me what do you use in your hair how do you get your hair like that and i will tell them and they will try it and then they'll come back and tell me it does not work but in order in order for it to work there are a few things that you will need to know so keep watching this video if you want to know what you need to know to grow the first thing we're going to talk about is knowing your hair and when i say know your hair i really mean know your hair all right so knowing the hair start with knowing your hair type once you know your hair type you will know what products you should be using to help your hair type you also need to know your hair porosity now porosity is we have medium we have we have low medium and high porosity i have low porosity here with low porosity here now it makes it harder for the products to be absorbed in the hair so with hair like that it requires a lot of warmth or heat and when i say heat i mean going into the sun covering your hair with a plastic bag not necessarily blow drying all right so it's harder for the products to be absorbed in the hair medium porosity is all right medium porosity is what's considered good hair type because with that sort uh, that type of natural hair it's easier a little bit easier for the products to be absorbed in the hair and the products will be the product stays in the hair a little bit longer than say high porosity hair because with high porosity hair now the products it's very easy to go in the hair but it's so much easier to get out of the hair so you have to know your hair porosity and there's a test the strand test is done to know the porosity of your hair if it stays at the top it's low porosity if it's in the middle it's medium porosity and if it sinks to the bottom it's high porosity hair so no do not compare your hair to other hair every single natural hair is different no matter no matter how similar it look no matter how similar it feel everyone's natural hair is different so do not compare so don't look at someone else's hair and be like why we use the same thing why does it, why doesn't my hair look like yours no one here will look the same it may look similar but it will not be the same and we as black people who are mixed with all different type of all different types of people our hair varies very differently so do not compare your hair number three is love your hair just like you love your child or your mom your dad your husband where whatever or whoever it may be your pets love your hair love your texture love your length love everything about your hair you have to be positive you can't be talking down on your hair there is no bad hair whether it's 4a 4b 4c love your hair persons especially with 4c hair they always say, oh, my ear tough and bulky. My ear no nice like yours. My ear no curly like yours. Stop the negative talk. The hair can't grow if you're always speaking bad about the hair. Just like how they say, put um, positive energy into the 
universe and it will come back to you you gotta put the to put the positive talk into your hair you got to love your hair you got to nurture your hair okay treat it like your baby okay love your hair i cannot stress that enough be okay with your hair be okay with your length be okay with the thickness of your hair and everything will fall into place all right so number four is be patient with your hair all right not everyone's hair grow at the same pace okay so don't compare your beginning with someone else's middle or someone else's end don't be like some people tell you that oh i grew this much length in two three days whether it's true or not do not be uh speak bad about your hair and say my hair can't and my hair can't and my hair can't yes it can it might take a little bit longer but yes it can't be patient with your hair all right so it takes my hair grows pretty fast yours might not doesn't matter it's still growing once you're nurturing it it will still grow and i'm sure there are persons well i know persons whose hair grows persons whose hair grows a lot faster than mine it is what it is it is life mine still grows don't it yeah so be patient with your hair all right number five is to be gentle with your hair no curly hair or black hair on a hold is super easy to break straight hair doesn't break as easy which is why persons with straight hair their hair grows so fast curly hair is so much easier to break because it's already bent these curls in our hair the hair is already bent so it's easier for it to snap than someone who has a straight hair so you need to be gentle with your hair you don't need a lot of comb for your hair matter of fact i mostly use my fingers to comb my hair in my videos you'll notice that i use my finger to comb through my hair you don't need 10 million combs you you may you possibly only need might need two i only have two yes you have pretty much a lot of comb females will have females always have a lot of stuff but you you, you may you probably have them just because you don't have them because you really need it i have quite a few combs i only use two don't use a lot of comb be gentle with your hair so number six will be less shampoo and more conditioner all right so for me one bottle of shampoo lasts me three conditioners i use a lot of conditioners and another thing to use instead of shampoo is your co-wash all right so shampoo strips the moisture from the hair so you don't want to be shampooing your hair too often all right you only need to shampoo your your scalp not the hair your scalp to get the buildups from the products of the scalp so that your hair pores can breathe and grow but you don't need to shampoo your hair ever so often and when you do have your wash day for me one shampoo is good you don't need two and three and four and all that many shampoo and study and all you don't need that you just need to cleanse the scalp and you need and there are other things that you can use along with your shampoo such as apple cider vinegar and um, baking soda to help cleanse your scalp so easy with a shampoo a lot of conditioner do a co-wash if you need to wash your hair more than once per week one time use the con uh, shampoo the other time use your co-wash or your apple cider vinegar to cleanse your scalp all right number seven never detangle dry hair never 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 go back in the days our parents or grandparents yes they 
comb her hair when it's all knotted and they'll pull and they'll pull and you see how much hair come out and it will be painful and will be screaming and crying that's because they shouldn't be doing that in first place and that's because they probably didn't know that but now we know so do not detangle your hair dry never detangle your hair dry especially if it's really matted do not detangle your hair dry okay wait until you have your condition in get a condition in to soften the hair and then you detangle your hair then and detangling you start from the ends going up to the do not put the comb here and dry down don't do it don't do it you got to tear out the wall of your hair all right so do not detangle your hair dry also it's better to air dry than to blow dry all right natural hair air dry rather than blow dry by blow drying the hair you're going to change your curl patterns and you're also going to damage your hair with a constant heat all right number eight stick to one brand all right it is okay if you're if it's okay if you don't know what products to use with your hair and you're trying different things to see what works but once you find what works for your hair stick with that one product do not go and buy every ear product where you sip on the people themselves. You only damage your hair. Stick to one product as much as possible. I don't really use a lot of cream products in my hair. I'm mostly a oil person, natural oils. I try to use natural stuff in my hair. And when you're buying products, make sure the first ingredients you see is water okay be careful of all those full of all those ear products with mostly acidic ingredients your hair will not like it it's gonna leave your hair dry and brittle and fuzzy and you are going to hate it and in turn you're not going to like your hair and that's where hair hate comes from so stick to one product water base now this one i don't always do this one sometimes i do but it don't work out cover your hair especially at night when you're going to sleep it's best to use a silk hair cover for your hair as it keeps the moisture in your hair cotton will suck every moisture out of your hair and leave it dry so if you wake up in the morning and you realize that your hair is dry and crusty and all of that like mine is sometimes that's because you didn't cover your hair or maybe you're like me and you do cover it but when you wake up you cover the one side and you hit the one side sometimes we wake up and we just put it on back but it is what it is sometimes I have to use a silk cover because it's slippery so it will slip off so what I do is after placing my silk covering I will use a handkerchief and tie my head again and again so sometimes I have like three coverings or four coverings just to keep it on my hair and it's best to like if you have you if you have your ear out it's best to like do four big twists so it will be easier to keep the hair cover on your head because if it's like this and it's puffy it will slip off so don't be lazy i'm like that sometimes and i'm lazy and i just put it over knowing that it will fall off so invest some time in your hair to do all of this now another thing is protective styling protective styling is like cornrows braids maybe hair piece or wigs whatever it is to cover the entire hair while you're up and about doing your business protective styling is very very all to natural hair okay very much essential so and once you do that always remember to moisturize your hair with your oils 
so even if you have your braids in just get your apple pepper bottle and you know put the oils on your scalp so you're keeping your ear moisturized while it's in protective braiding and know which one works for you braids does not love my hair what works for my hair is if I do a sewing and my hair is completely covered that works but once I do the braid mm, mm, mm. so if you notice that braid doesn't work for your hair please do not braid your hair or right, if you're going to braid your hair do not do it often okay and number 10 something that we hear all the time but how much of us really do it eat healthy and exercise hmm well, I can honestly say that I don't always do that, especially the exercise part, but you know, we should, you know, it is, as they say, whatever you put in is going to come out. So all the bad stuff that you eat is not only about your body and your skin, it also affects your hair. So lately have, I have been trying to eat much more healthier and um, it's not easy because let's face it junk food nice and you know easy to get up and exercise because bed nice made on nice or it's like it's corona time you can stay in your bed longer but use this time to be a better you you have the time on your hands now do a walk around the yard do a walk up the street do a couple jumping jacks, drink some nice clean water, eat up some nice green greens, you know. Try if you do it little little until it just come like a part of your everyday ritual. Alright? So eat right, exercise, and you will see difference not only in your hair but also in your skin and health. Alright? All right, guys, so this is part one to Let's Talk Hair. Please go ahead and like this video. Comment and let me know what you think. Comment and let me know if you have any advice also to give about hair because I can learn from you just as much. To subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share this video with your friends and give me your feedback. Let me know what you want to know. Let me know anything